Hello there great people, I hope you are doing well. Greetings from Portugal, Nuno here. So today we are going to talk a little bit, a follow up, bug fixes and performance of macOS Mojave Beta 5, macOS Mojave 10.14.1 Beta 5, that's correct. Now, uh, first, let's many of you like, of course, to see the raw performance on Geekbench, but first the build number for this release. So this release has the number 18B73A. We are approaching the final release, count perhaps the final release of this build uh, on the 30th, perhaps by the time of the keynote. Let's see. Now, uh, the download was about, let's make this quick, 2.4 gigabytes, okay? Now, regarding Geekbench, uh, this was the Geekbench from Beta 4 and Beta 5 has a slight lower result on the multi-score, okay? Uh, nothing major, but even though it is a decrease and we are seeing this uh, as a trend since the, we began these betas of 10.14.1. Now, and a slight increase on the single core here on Beta 5, but well, Geekbench is Geekbench. Let's go also from one of the things that you like to see, the metal performance, the GPU performance. Um, so on beta 4, this was the result. And on beta 5, we have a slight decrease, nothing major, but the trend still continues, okay? Now, uh, this is what I have on my machine. One of the things that I also like to see is if my SSD speeds, my native SSD speeds uh, still uh, remain the same. And in fact, after three years, this is a mid 2015, everything still perfect, spot on. Now, let's go to the things that I have, the issues that I had on beta 4. Uh, for example, I use ScreenFlow, you know, to do screencasts. For example, I'm doing this and I'm recording with ScreenFlow to record my screen. And with Beta 4, I had an issue. I couldn't edit because I wasn't able to see the canvas, okay, in order to edit. And that, that was, you know, <laughs> that, that wasn't good. Um, I thought it was an issue of ScreenFlow, uh, not being not updated to that to this build. Uh, but no, no, uh, also tried some other applications like Camt Camtasia and the issue uh, still remained. So now on Beta 5 it's fixed, I already tested, I launched the video today how to install uh, Mac OS Mojave on non-supported Macs, so uh, it is uh, fixed. So one of the things that we can learn from this is uh, be careful when installing betas, okay? Uh, because some of the applications that you, you know trust uh, on a daily usage may not function, and that's you know uh, a pain you know where, okay? So be careful with that. This issue it is resolved on this beta five, but it wasn't, okay? Now uh, I'm still having I'm I'm having an issue in this beta five. I don't know why. If you have the same thing, I use a five gigahertz network. And I don't know why it is uh, it is not working properly. I reset my router, everything, I checked you know the channels, uh, and uh, sometimes something is happening. I don't know if it is off the build. I will keep you posted on that. Uh, and if you have the same issue, go ahead put on the thread below in the comments. Or if it is an issue, uh, you know, a random issue that will be fixed uh, from my network. Again, many of you are also uh, telling that um, the, you know, that when we want to highlight something on a PDF document, you have this dark color, you know, and this is this is not good. Uh, I also don't like it. We have on the dark mode, but also on the light mode, it is equal. So if you go ahead and put it, this on the light mode, as you can see, uh, it is the same color. It is hard to see when you want twilight. So I ha I hope Apple fixes did, uh, this. There are many complaints regarding this issue. And regarding the font rendering, guys, um, this you have to check on your own, okay? Uh, uh, on my 
previous video on the beta 4 for this release, this dot one release uh, of Mojave, uh, there is a fix uh, over there. I will leave the you know the card, the video card on the end, so you can go ahead for you new guys that haven't watched that uh, a fix for the font smoothing on non Retina displays. So uh, this is uh, an issue that is you know on the on the threads on many websites tech websites that uh, apple isn't supporting uh, supporting um, font rendering or font smoothing on non-retina displays okay in certain apps so go ahead uh, you have that workaround that i'll leave in the end now no new things over here guys no no new wallpapers nothing everything is still the same so uh we are approaching the the final release of this build now i have of course here i stack menus and i use it uh, daily and i also like to check also uh, like to check how my computer is running so regarding temperature guys uh, very stable so my friends don't kick too much okay even on heavy load keep in mind this is a macbook pro connected to a cinema display that i have here but uh, apple cinema display everything is very very smooth for example uh, regarding the ram usage i'm using only even with screen recording and some apps opened uh, only using four gigs of the 16 that i have available so very good uh, for example only using five percent of my cpu so that's pretty good also and that is the issue that everyone is complaining it is the the drainage of the battery uh, on 10.14.1 now uh and even on the final build of, of mac os mojave guys uh, uh you you comment uh, and, and ask me how is my battery life i have to tell you that this computer was manufactured on the on 29 of september of 2015 so uh, more than three years now and my uh, current capacity for example i'm at 100 percent is higher than the design capacity because i only used 35 cycles of this battery so i usually you know when i take this computer out i connect it to a font source to a font okay a source so in order to preserve my battery uh so uh on the occasions that you know i have to use it and i don't have it plugged uh, on the betas, uh, I suppose on beta 2 and beta 3, everything seems, you know, correct. Uh, you know, the battery is about six hours, five, six hours, about that. Okay, no issues with my with my battery whatsoever. So, guys, this is uh, what I want to share with you. Go ahead, put on the threads below if you have any issues in order for us to help each other. Okay, so for now, this is all. Keep safe and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.